life is long and it's the opposite of like, you know, life is short, you know, you, you get to a certain age and you're like, oh my God, I missed it all and all the opportunities. But the flip side of that is that life is actually can be kind of long. And when you, when you look at life that way, I think it allows you to make mistakes Mm. more easily um, and not be so hard on yourself. So when you make a big decision or even a little decision in your day, like, you know, you have, you have a generally have a long time to course correct. Hello, everyone. I am Melissa Forziat of Take the Donut, here to help you get inspiration and get donuts. I'm a motivational keynote speaker, but today I'm bringing you a Take the Donut interview with the wonderful Alyssa Fezzik. Alyssa has quite an interesting background. She is the owner of Fezzik Marketing and also an experienced event professional with previous roles with the U.S. Olympic Committee, with the Vancouver Olympic Winter Games, with the Toronto Pan American Games, with the San Jose Sharks. The list goes on. And I'm sure we'll hear a lot about some of those things today. So, Melissa, welcome to your Take the Donut interview. Thanks. It's good to be here. It's great to have you. So I'll ask the obligatory question to get us started. What's your favorite donut? My favorite donut, I had to think about this because I, I'm, a, I'm an abundance person, right? Like I like all the donuts most of the time, but my very favorite are um, jelly filled powder donuts. Ah, well, there you go. Jelly filled powder donuts. I like that answer. We haven't had too many jelly filled responses yet. It's a fun one. So, you know, I told a little bit about your bio to start with, and you have a really rich history that you can sort of bring into this. So tell us what you want us to know about you. Is there anything else you feel like needs to be set up front so people have context? You know, that pretty much what you said really sums up like the the sexy highlights of my career, but really it's um, the last seven years have been focused on building uh, marketing business here. I, uh, I live in Edmonton, Canada, but we have clients all over. And, um, that feels like a really, I'm a, I'm a quick decision maker. I, I change my mind. I like, I take a lot of donuts, right. So to like sit and be with the business for seven years and grow it and cultivate it and like figure out some of the things that I do really well have been, um, really rewarding just even in the last little while reflecting on, um, my overall accomplishments, you know? Yeah. And you referenced the theme of this right in your answer as well. So I'll set this up for people. This is a take the donut interview. And what that means, if anybody is listening who hasn't heard the story, I will link it here. Basically, take the donut is an expression that for me means carpe diem, seize the opportunity. I once left a donut on a table in college and it actually became an object lesson for me and what it looks like to literally and figuratively leave an opportunity on the table. So now the inspiration is don't leave those donuts on the table, take the donut. So this conversation is about what it's like to go after what you want, whether it's a big or a small thing. And with that in mind, I wanted to ask you this question how are you when it comes to going after what you want? What's that process like for you? Well, I've been thinking about this a lot. Um, you know, it's funny when you have an opportunity to do an interview like this, you start to think about what you want to say and how you want to position it. Um, and I'm a person who likes clarity and big goals. So as soon as I'm like very clear on a big goal, I just... I start to talk about it. I start to think about it differently. And eventually over time, <clears throat> those things seem to manifest in my life. So, um, you know, I think when I told you that I like all the donuts, I feel like that is a metaphor <laughs> for the kind of life I like to live. I like variety. I like to try new things. Um, so really going after things that are in front of me are, are relatively easy. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. I would say, knowing you as well as I do, I would say that 
um, you have so many donuts to choose from when you answer questions like what we're going to talk about today. You know, there's you've more often than not, there's been going after opportunity and not staying the same and staying stable. So I think it's really interesting to like sort of pick your brain and see what rises to the top for you um, as you think about process, as you think about, you know, your experience, because you're very practiced at going after the things that you want and unusually uh, able to manifest (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> sometimes I'm wowed by the fact that you're like you know you start putting things out there and then all of a sudden things are happening for you and I've always been amazed <laughs> so it's in a way uh the word abundance was a really good one for you to start with because I think you probably it might make this conversation a challenging in a different way for you where you have so many things to pick from So, oh my goodness. Well, when you get started going after something, especially if it's something that's going to take a lot of effort over time, what keeps you motivated as you're going towards it? Well, I often let fun take the driver's seat. Like of all the personalities in my brain, the one that is, I, I let, I really let fun take the wheel. So I don't get caught up in the risk of making a change or a big choice, I really get caught up in the excitement and the fun of it. We actually have a big thing on the horizon in our family right now. And so I'm really leaning into how can I make this decision easier for myself? How can I get excited about the process? Um, You know, and there's, it used to just be me. Now there's me, my son, my dog. So there's a lot more people to bring together and have a shared vision for something. So today I've been thinking about how can we really get excited about this together so that we stay on the same page and make choices as a unit. Yeah. When you think about that process, are there ever challenges that you have? Like, is there a specific brand of challenges that just seems to come up for you every time you go after something? Yeah. You know, I really care a lot about what people think. And so fitting in is important to me. And so the the choices that I make and the exciting things that I do set me apart from other people. And so I really am cautious, like it kind of gets in my way a little bit to, to worry about what other people are going to think or how I'm going to fit in if I make this change. Um, so the, really that's what holds me back more than anything. Have you found anything that helps you with that? I'm, I imagine a lot of people struggle with that same thing. Um, you know, I just kind of lean into like my inner wisdom and, you know, would I, if I don't do this, what am I risking? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looking you know, at the opportunity the donut, cost. If I leave the donut sitting there and somebody else takes the donut, man. Yeah. That's not me. I can't do that. That's not how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So leaning into the opportunity cost of it helps dissuade you from listening to that voice. It sounds like. Yeah, like really, I'm telling you, Melissa, it is my fun voice that like shines through all the time. And so uh, sometimes I need to be like, okay, what are the risks of this? <laughs> and just have a little chat because I'm fortunate, like I've had a safety net in my life and a lot of support around me. So to make a big decision sometimes is easier because there's there's good support. So building a support system is something that I think is essential in life. It's a great skill to develop and find your people so that making decisions that maybe aren't the most popular, you still have your people in the background cheering you on. And those people can be in your head also. Like, (laughs) let's be, let's be real from a, from a, like a deep psychological standpoint, you know, you need the fans in your mind as much as you need the fans in real life. Ah, that's an interesting way to put it. I like that. So, okay. If we go back into your history, what would you say is the biggest donut you've taken. And I know you've taken so many and so many that people might classify as big ones that this could, this could be a real brain buster, but what, you know, what comes to mind for you when I ask that question? So a couple things actually, and the, and the biggest donut I've taken might surprise people because it's probably the most boring, but settling down and committing to being somewhere for five years so that my son could have a real um, foundation for developing friendships in elementary school. We kind of committed when our son was born that we would stay in one place for 
for five years once he got to kindergarten age. So we bought a house, we got a dog, you know, we, we did like the, the traditional things that people do at certain stages of life. I don't even know. Um, but really that has been, has had a huge payoff, right? I was telling you a little earlier about my business and how I've had like the stability to slowly grow that over time and build something. So the rewards of that choice while they probably feel the most conventional, had the biggest impact on my overall life goals. Um, another really big risk I took, there's a when I was in like that, just graduating from university in university stage, I was like, wow, I did some like interesting things. Like I decided I wanted to do internships. I went to university in Toronto. I decided I wanted to do internships in California. So I was um, majoring in radio and television arts. I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. So I just like threw it out there. I wanted to be a sports intern at ABC Sports in San Francisco. So put it out there. You know, I was like, March or April, they didn't know when they were going to make their decision, but I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go. <laughs> so I got in my car after school ended or after exams and drove across the country and um, my I had family out there. So I was sleeping on a couch and just trying to build relationships. So I, I kept calling the intern director at ABC Sports and I was like, have you made a decision yet? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so finally they brought me in for an interview in person and they were like we like you we want to hire you and so I got my five dollar an hour internship uh, with ABC Sports and realized that I didn't really want to work in sports broadcasting anymore because at the same time I ended up connecting with a friend of a friend who worked with the San Jose Sharks and they offered me an internship in their community relations department and I realized there was this whole world of um, developing community through a love of sport that I had never known about before. And that was like such a game changer for me. So, you know, I mean, how many donuts are in that story alone? <laughs> really? There's so many, right. And I think there, it's just an example of why this question would be so hard for you to answer, because, you know, if you just look back at your life, you have stories like this every couple of years, probably. Um, but that is a really, really big one that got you set on a professional track. And also I think, to, you know, just to put yourself in the situation where you're experiencing something day to day to realize, oh, the thing that was my dream that I came out here for isn't exactly right. <laughs> you know, I think yeah, even the letting go of the initial idea of what the dream was is also kind of taking the donut because it freed you up to go find something else. Um, so it's just so interesting how many things got layered into that. Yeah. I mean, saying yes is really a big part of taking the donut, right? There's, you know, there's, there's all the, all the voices like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? Like, why not is one of my themes of life. Like, why not do this thing? What do I have to lose? Yeah. So, you know, I think back to another time I was graduating from high school and my dad just kind of out of the blue was like, you know, your cousin works for Coke in and with the Olympics, why don't we go visit him in Lillehammer? Um, and I was like, okay. And this was literally like maybe a month before the opening ceremony. So, I mean, there's a legacy of taking donuts in my family, I think. <laughs> so. Absolutely. It's culturally uh, infused into you. Yeah. And it's I mean, beautiful. that experience set the stage for so many things in my life also. So, Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, if you think about right now, is there a donut that's in progress for you to take? Is there something you're working on? Yeah. Um, many actually like to think of just one, there's, there's one like giant donut that is, is presented itself right now in our lives. We have an opportunity to move to Milan, Italy Ooh. for three years for a contract. And so it's a nice donut. Like it's looking really good. And so, you know, there's a lot of decisions to make within that and a lot of donuts to consider. Um, it's an opportunity to grow a business in a different way. It's an opportunity to uproot ourselves a little bit and spend time in a place that we've been before that we love. Um, it's really exciting to consider. So as I'm, as I'm sitting here, you know, we're 
not ready to make the decision yet. So I think, how can I make this decision easier for myself? How can I just lean into the excitement of it and still like stay in a foundation of reality? So that's so exciting. And that's, uh, yeah, that sounds like a big one. <laughs> Listen, your head should be like exploding a little bit. <laughs> no, I, it's a little bit exploding, but I think, um, you know, what was actually coming to my mind is part of, part of deciding if, you want to take an opportunity like that is deciding if you've taken the donut you were taking before long enough, you know, like, have you been stable and steady long enough to, yes. to, you know, qualify mm-hmm. as that donut was taken and now I'm going to move on to the next thing. And that's something I think about a lot too, because sometimes what you think you're going after, it's like, is that actually a today issue or is that what I wanted yesterday? Yes. Um, And so it's really interesting that you're now like kind of being brought face to face with sort of a a behavioral or like a a philosophical way of looking at how you want to be. It's like, do I want to pick up and go on the road again? Because that's at odds with what I've been trying to do for a few years. And that might be fine. It might be time. You know, it's interesting. Yeah, it's exciting. And then and then what donut do we want to take after that? Yeah. Right. Because it's when you when you commit to something short term, which really everything you commit to can be short term or long term. There's no rules about that, but it has a very finite ending. You know, mm-hmm. you need you need to have a couple donuts that you want to take and and be open to ideas, but also be really clear in the vision that you want for your life overall. You know, my big donut is a beach house. I want to have a a lifestyle that allows me to work from my house with a beautiful view of the ocean. So every big donut I take, every little donut I take, I hope is taking me closer to that vision. And if it's not, it's a donut that I'm not really interested in right now. Okay. Awesome. Well, let's, let's get in touch with some other people here. Imagine there are people listening to this who are thinking that this is all great but I have a donut that I want to take and I don't know what to do next. What advice would you give to those people? Let's do the sprinkle some encouragement section where you give (laughs) advice and encouragement to the people who want to do anything even resembling the types of stuff you've been doing. Um, I think really turning down the, the, the judgment voices in your mind and leaning into the fun voices in your mind, the excite, the, the like find the excitement and listen to your gut and think about how, how taking a donut could change your life in a positive way. Um, it's, it's important to, to listen to all the voices, but really quieting the negativity down is essential. Um, yeah. I I think having and and just like knowing, right? Like not being afraid to know what you want. Even if when you get there it looks a little different, you're far more likely to get close to it and be able to reassess. Um another thing that I've really been pondering lately is um that life is long. And it's the opposite of like, you know, life is short, you know, you, you get to a certain age and you're like, oh my God, I missed it all and all the opportunities. But the flip side of that is that life is actually can be kind of long. And when you, when you look at life that way, I think it allows you to make mistakes Mm. more easily, um, and not be so hard on yourself. So when you make a big decision or even a little decision in your day, like, you know, you have, you have a generally have a long time to course correct and make it right. Um, so I think that's, someone said that to me once and I, it really kind of, it takes the pressure off. Yes. Yeah. In like a really beautiful way. And not, like, you know, there's, there's the other part of my brain that's like YOLO, like, <laughs> <laughs> life is short, do all the things. Um, but really when you, you know, at the stage of my life, I'm 47 at the time of this interview. Um, there's a, like, you know, you have a lot of variations of life that are going to happen. And so, you know, lean into the things that you really want. And if you change your mind, that's okay. Ah, that's beautifully said. Well, where can we find you? Um, Tell us where, if anybody wants to know more about you, where would they discover you? I can put links in the description, but what link should I put? Oh, sure. Um, you know, my at Alyssa Fessick on Instagram is probably the best way. Um, I have 
handles for Festic Marketing, but I also have a side hustle that I'm just starting up called the Make Great Friends Project. And there's a few other things in in the background that are happening. So I think at Alyssa Fessick is the is the best way to find me. Okay. Awesome. We'll make sure we'll put that in the description. So everybody be sure to check out those resources and, you know, go find Alyssa and have conversations with her if you can. She loves building relationships. And if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe because there's so many great interviews coming up where with people who have all different kinds of experiences that you can learn from and get inspired by. So Alyssa, thank you so much for taking time to have this conversation and to share your experience taking the donut. Oh, thanks for having me. I hope uh, I hope people can find some wisdom in it. Yeah. Okay, everybody, you know what to do. Get inspiration, get donuts. <laughs>